when you cover certain things like criminal, you know, criminal corruption, some, there's documents involved. You can go to a courthouse. You can listen to a hearing. They can't kick you out. Universities can do a lot to stop you from being on campus. And I've since learned, since you, you know, I can't really hide who I am anymore. Uh, every time I call a university, they shut down right away. Um, that you know, they they really control the access, and I think that that deters a lot of sports reporters from doing investigative work. But I also think that there's this psychology of the fans behind this. They um, they can be pretty rabid. And, and it's hard to pin down a really good reason why, in my opinion. I think it has something to do with identity. I think that people really identify with their sports teams, and when you attack their team, you attack them. They take that personally. This is not, this, you know, they don't feel that same way about politicians. They don't feel that same way about a lot of other issues. But for some reason, you attack these colors that they root for every week because all the players change and all the coaches change the, the people change um you attack their their thing their sports team and that's it you know they hate you and that is not just penn state that is a lot of different places um and i think you know sex assault is kind of a tricky a lot of people don't want to talk about that i think that was a factor in the penn state story but since then, I've seen that same thing. I've been covering this UNC story where um, it's been alleged that there are, there are students at the University of North Carolina, a very prestigious university, who can't read. And, you know, I, I write about it, and people will say things to me, well, like, oh, athlete literacy, that's been going on for years. Why are you picking on UNC? Like, everyone, everyone kind of has accepted this idea that these athletes don't get a degree, don't have an education, and are just being, you know, farmed through to play sports and it's, it's almost you know oh, why are you writing about how dare you write about that you know we all know this already and it kind of rings that it, it reminds me of of Sandusky it reminds me of um you know in the Jameis Winston case people will say well you know we all know that sex assault happens on campus okay so we shouldn't talk you know, we shouldn't write about it I mean, these so for some reason when it has to do with their sports teams they seem to the psychology of, of giving your team a pass. I'm not a psychologist, I don't pretend to be one, but I have noticed that a lot.